Hello, entrepreneurs. Joe DeCharid, CPA, coming to you live from downtown Flushing, New York, once again for another amazing episode of How to Win at Business. And today, folks, is going to be a pretty short episode. I just wanted to jump in here and, and talk to you about the, the new PPP loan opportunities. You know, this is a, a real moving target. I'm trying to get a hold of my my uh, my stuff here. Give me one second. And that ain't going to work. So we're going to do it this way. Today, we're going to be talking about PPP loans because they have, you know, ever since uh, President Biden took office, it's been like a whirlwind. Of, of really positive developments for, for small business owners. And, and just for uh, habit's sake, if you're watching live, give me a hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. This could be, the short episode could be something that, that could really uh, help you turn your business around. Uh, there's right now, you know, just like before, there's a small window the government comes up with these programs and they put a timeline on it. Last year, people were freaking out because, you know, they, they, they ran out of money. The government doesn't run out of money. The government prints money. <laughs> so, you know, the, the, uh, the fear, the panic that, that, that went over last year. And it's understandable because it was, it was the beginning of COVID. We were all hit blindsided. But the truth is that there's going to be programs coming out for years, not just from the government, from private industry, from big companies that see the value in, in helping small business owners. One of the biggest changes that I see in, in this administration is the first round of loans you had to know somebody in the bank and usually only big businesses, big law firms, big accounting firms, big insurance, and they know the people at the banks and that gave them an unfair advantage. And this time what's happened is it seems like they are focusing more on, on Schedule C's, you know, all of my clients are saying, that, where is my line seven Schedule C? And that, they're not, most of my clients are incorporated. So when they, when I hear that the government is, is focusing on a Schedule C, it tells me that they are actually focusing on, on the majority of small businesses, you know, over... 25 million out of the 30 million businesses in the United States, over 25 million are sole proprietors, unincorporated business entities that, that get no legal protection, get, get pounded when it comes to what percentage they pay in taxes, uh, and they get no respect. I've been saying this for years. Sole proprietors get absolutely no respect, and it was so crystal clear in the first round of PPP and EIDL loans. But, but things are different now, folks. And, and I'm going to go through a couple uh, of the things that I know about because even, even the experts, they can't, it's a moving target. They're making up uh, the rules as they go. And, and I'm going to, I'm going to share with you a, a contact that will explain everything to you. And I'm just going to give you an overview. So right now, millions and millions of people can still qualify for the, the PPP loan that didn't qualify before. Okay. Now, these PP lo PPP loans, I I'm pretty sure you have to go through a bank still. Okay. There are still EIDL loans available. So the difference is the EIDL loans have to be paid back. They have, you know, very good terms. I think it's like ridiculous percentage rate over 30 years. It's, it's cheap money. Uh, those have to be paid back. The PPP loans 
a lot of times you don't have to pay them back as long as you use the money for what they tell you to use it for. Okay, it's 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 pretty simple. Uh, on the surface, it's simple. When you go into the details, it's it can get a little bit murky. For instance, what if you were a a corporation in in 2019, and then a Schedule C in 2020, and then you know things change, entities change. Uh, so those are some of the details that you really need uh, an expert on. Now, from what I understand, even if you qualified for a PPP loan before, you might qualify again. Even if you didn't qualify for a PPP loan before or an EIDL loan, you might qualify now. Now, what my friend Lisa Rodino just told me uh, this morning was if you, you can apply for an EIDL loan and get rejected three times. So if you got denied, you can apply again. Maybe your credit score was too low. Maybe things were, you know, and another thing with this round is that they have changed the rules. You know, now all of a sudden you can go back to your 2019 numbers. So that helped people because maybe you didn't, a lot of my clients didn't qualify because of the structure of their business, but they would have qualified had they used 2019 numbers. So they're trying to make it so more people qualify, more smaller businesses qualify. Now, another thing that, that she brought up is this, uh, venue grant, you know, closed venue grant. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but it's part of the, uh, it's a grant for people in the entertainment business. Now on the face of it, I thought this was, you know, because it says venue, I thought it was for brick and mortar uh, entities, but she's saying not necessarily. So I'm going to give you uh, Lisa's contact info. She's given me permission for this. <laughs> Uh, she's been fa fantastic. Uh, so, you know, when you say, you know, people in the entertainment business, so I have friends that, that, you know, do live events. If you do anything with live events, she's saying that, that you might qualify. Now, a grant is money you don't have to pay back. Okay. It's money you don't have to pay back. And, and th that's a good thing, folks. So I highly recommend that, that you, you know, contact Lisa. Uh, you can call her. You can email her. Uh, she's, she actually responds. This is a, a basically like a service that she's doing because she, this isn't a, a full-time, but, you know, PPP loans were just uh, created. It's not something like you become a PPP expert and you're going to be, you know, doing it the rest of your life. <laughs> uh, so that's our story. I, I'm sticking with it. Uh, contact Lisa if you want to try to get a, a PPP grant, an EIDL loan, uh, or just, you know, find out about what she does. She's a very uh, excellent, probably one of the best uh, credit specialist that, that I've ever met, you know, and when I'm talking about credit, I'm talking about small business financing. And, and this is an important area, another area where, you know, small business owners uh, just never get connected, just never make the connection. So connect with Lisa. That's my story. God bless. I will be back again later tonight with another amazing episode of how to win a business. Thank you. See you later.